Ezekiel chapter 44 continues in a prophetic vision of the restoration of God's people and his temple. Ezekiel is given this celestial tour guide leading him through a future order. Here in chapter 44, we are given instructions on how the priests and the Levites are to care for and manage his holy sanctuary. God corrects their previous lack of care as they had hired foreigners to manage the sanctuary. Verse 9 gives us a description of the kind of person he desires to enter his sanctuary, his holy place of worship. So this is what the sovereign Lord says, no foreigner, including those who live among the people of Israel, will enter my sanctuary if they have not been circumcised and have not surrendered themselves to the Lord. I'm reminded of the conversation Jesus had with the woman by the well in the Gospel of John chapter four. He was revealing himself to her as the Messiah, the one who would fulfill all the law and the prophets. He says in John chapter four, verse 23 and 24, but the time is coming, indeed it's here now, when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. The Father is looking for those who will worship Him in that way. For God is spirit, so those who worship Him must worship in spirit and in truth. When we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we're born again. And God's spirit, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, is imparted to us. And we begin eternal life with Him forever. And from this place of victory, we willingly align our lives with the truth of God's Word. His design for living, which leads us right into the center of His sanctuary. His life in us leads to right living and a desire to please Him with all we are and all that we have. So, what kind of person does God desire to enter His sanctuary? one who is fully and totally surrendered to him. He desires an intimate, right relationship with you and me, both outwardly with our actions and inwardly with our thoughts and our motives. As we enter his sanctuary, may our worship never just be words in a song or a social gathering on Sunday, but an expression of deep gratitude for all he has done for us. We've been made alive in Christ, and we have the blessing to worship Him together in spirit and in truth. <music>